Good evening to our viewers. Thank you for making time and joining us tonight on the evening review. My name is Toivo Njebela, your host. Tonight we are reflecting on the judgment uh, of the Supreme Court this week that uh, authorized that uh, going forward the uh, same-sex marriages conducted outside will now be recognized in Namibia. And to help us discuss this is uh, Jeremiah is uh, Vendelinus Hamtenya Jeremiah. He is uh, a gay rights activist, as we know, a former uh, Mr. Gay Namibia some years ago. And uh, yeah, th thank you for making time, uh, Tateguru. Uh, thank you. Uh, so let's get right into it. What is your reaction to the judgment? I'm extremely excited. Yeah. Um, if I was in heaven and then the God sit there, I could have jumped behind, <laughs> just passed by to go and celebrate with with the angels that they opened the door for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is extremely how happy I am. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, what makes you particularly happy about this? Yeah, the, what makes me happy is that we have been really struggling to, even when we're filling out the application form or when we're filling any document, especially the legal documents, yeah. Uh, where you require to uh, um, fill in, are you married or are you single? Yeah. So sometimes we were forced to fill in single because mm. you know that your marriage is not recognized in Namibia. Yeah, yeah. But for now, uh, we are happily going to apply that. Whenever I first, the first thing to do in the application is the one I'm going to check the mar 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 marital status to find out if I'm, I am this and then quickly. I, this is, this is the first thing I'm going to do yeah. in the application yeah, I'm yeah. whenever I'm going to apply Absolutely. something. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, in your case, you, you got married in, uh, um, in South Africa. Uh, was it 2022, 2021? 2020. 2020? Yes. Yeah? You're a veteran of marriage already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, um, having gone through that process, um, again, I think we had discussed this before to reflect on uh, how difficult it was for you to to get uh, married abroad. But as a matter of fact, this judgment doesn't say that uh, you people may now get married locally. So there's still a, a way to go uh, because, of course, your marriage being recognized locally is a good thing, I suppose. But still having to go abroad for you to get married, that is still a... a, a a long way, isn't it? Yeah, it's still a really long way to go. Um, although it's recognized in the country, so we still have that Sodom law that is still in the Namibian constitution. Mm. That is the Roman Dutch law that you need to be scratched that because absolute law, it can no longer save, or it is save already its purpose. So for now, what most important is that we both can hold the Namibian marriage certificate. Um, and, and it's a huge achievement as well. So because when the judgment come out, they talk about the civil union or mm. civil marriage, um, the South African Civil Act of 11, 2006. So although we are not going to get married, I think uh, uh, some of the people, they also get confused when the, the, the judgment come out. Mm. Uh, although we are not going to get married in South Africa, I mean in Namibia. So we encourage our people to get married outside. Yeah. When they met outside, and then they can uh, have their marriage recognized. And then that is the most in, um, uh, uh, important to us. And those who do not have resources, what must they do? Those who cannot go to South Africa and, and elsewhere? It's very simple. What, what we can do, just go to the home affairs here in Namibia. You apply the, the, a letter uh, that stating that you are not married here. You submit to the Namibian embassy. After submitting to the Namibian embassy, take time, even a day, going and come back, even at Uppington. <laughs> go with the, these kumbis around here and then you get married. What's that stopping you? It doesn't need to need a, a huge wedding. The, wed the huge wedding can come here because when you arrive here, your marriage is recognized. That is the most important. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, in practical terms, Vendelinus, what, what does it mean? Uh, because of course you spoke about the excitement of going to home affairs and filling in this form and in your case, that is the first part that you're going to fill in <laughs> to celebrate, I suppose. But what is the, in practical terms, what is so important about your marriage being recognized? The important is the value of the marriage. Yeah. And then the, <coughs> because most of the people, 
they didn't value our weddings or our marriages that there is valid. Mm. But now if you look at the validation of the wedding, I mean the married, the heterosexual marriage and then homosexual married, they are now all put it in the same uh, uh, um, category. Mm. It's not that this one is not recognized because for instance, if you, if you wanted to buy a joint house, mm. we couldn't do that because as couples, so the, the house needs to be on one mm. person's name. But now the marriage is recognized, we will able to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then and on the other issue is that we will able to um, acquire a lot of uh, things that we always want to do, like join together. Because, um, you know, we have two different marriages uh, out and in a uh, community, community of property. Mm. So each person now is there to decide now you guys want to get married in the community of property or outside of community of property. Mm -hmm. And then we are all going to be judged at the same level as the heterosexual. Uh, but I'm not so, so clear about how the, the process going to work like on divorce. Is yeah. it going to be a long marathon like the, we used to see this one, the heterosexual, heterosexual one, mm. or ours going to be very easier? I'm not so sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> so we still have to uh, find out at no, the but, later but stage. No, but if, 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 if marriage is just marriage, what, what will make it different from are you saying that gay people are holier than than uh, heterosexuals? So what what would make theirs easier? Uh, uh, for me, I find it difficult for the heterosexual because you know women like property. <laughs> 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 women own property, and then when for me, always in contact with women that are married, it's, oh my husband cannot just go and leave me. Oh, the family of my my family cannot just so, and then you realize that oh okay. Women like property, yeah. so both of us now being husband and husband, it, it maybe it will be different. Yeah, uh, just a quick thing, and then it's done, it's ended. So, but now for the heterosexual, it's a marathon. Yeah, to divorce your your, your partner. Okay. Yeah. Yes. In what way did you celebrate uh, the judgment yesterday? I, I took out my husband to one of the restaurants, eh? just to uh, enjoy and eating and. We look at our marriage certificate. I even posted it on our Facebook. Mm. Um, so now, when I look at the yellow certif marriage certificate for the Namibians, uh, in few months to come, I'm gonna have it. So it, it's a big uh, achievement so far. But uh, I do understand most of, especially the churches, they're yeah. very, very, very upset. Or the yes. rest of the people are very upset, but we think that the judgment, the majority of the judges that have really give this order. Yeah. In it, fact, uh, that is what I wanted to talk to you about now. The the, the fact that uh, a lot of people are actually upset. Uh, the church community is not very happy. Um, ordinary heterosexual people in Namibia, your average person is not happy. I saw... Uh, I saw a, an audio clip today of, uh, I don't know what it's called, Pastor or Reverend Laban Mashekele. I'm very, very upset that uh, this has been granted. What is your reaction to those reactions? Uh, to me, they are not really, um, that is their own opinion. So we don't judge them, we respect their opinion. But what we ask them just to respect the judgment of the court. So this is a, an order was given to the Supreme Law Court, not the higher court that we're going to appeal. We don't have a constitutional court here to appeal the, uh, the Supreme Court. It's a final order and it remains as a such. So um, I hear some people are calling it a referendum. You cannot have a referendum with the, against my, uh, minority. There's no such a thing. Mm -hmm. So the churches have to understand because everything whenever we talk about they hear a, a word homosexual, the reaction that coming from the, these churches and the religious leaders is is worrisome. Mm -hmm. But we have so many activities going on. Children have been raped on daily basis. Women have been killed on daily basis. But we don't see their reaction. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't understand why homosexuals are so anger of some of these pastors. Uh, uh, um, they are even going out of their hand way to come to even whenever we have a court cases especially talk about homosexual they are all over there but yesterday i don't know what happened to them I, I was expecting them because i was going to greet them with the happiness on my face but unfortunately they didn't uh, 
uh, I told you, I think maybe, you know, their prophet, they, they prophesied maybe that the case is going to be like that. So, but I don't respect their opinion, but however, they must respect the judgment. They mm -hmm. must not bring the Bible in this. So they've been doing things that are out of the Bible. Yeah. As we've seen a lot of things happening. So let them be, and then we are happy. Uh, they must not uh, create chaos because of the judgment. <laughs> 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 I hear you. <laughs> yeah. But um, <coughs> the gay community, obviously, d d d as a community, do you understand where these voices of dissent, voices of uh, disapproval are coming from? D do you understand the conservative nature of our country. The, the reason I'm asking you is because every time I have, even on this show, when I have a conversation with a person who is opposed to homosexuality, that there seems to be this sense of intolerance also from the gay community that somehow people might just embrace and run and hug you without understanding that this is a very young democracy, very young conservative society that need a bit of time for it to accept who you are? Yeah, I, d <coughs> I do understand where we are coming from and where all this uh, anger coming from. Based on our traditional and norms, um, you are placed in the box. As a man, you must act like a man. If you are a woman, you must act like a man. So when we grow up, you say that, okay, so that's already in a, playing a big role in the back of our mind. That as a man, you must act like a man. So the moment we see, uh, I think this thing of homosexuality has never been spoken openly. Now that it become an openly, it become a problem to everyone. It become anger and then you're wondering where is this anger coming from? Mm. These are some of the people we eat together, people who uh, sell, uh, work together or drink together. But the way they react, you, you wonder, even some of them, they distance from us. Mm. You wonder where is this anger coming from, but it's the beliefs or it's some of the religious of that um, um, poisoning our people to be against each other. But all homosexuality does not mean harm to anybody. Does not mean harm to anybody. So, and we are not also asking for uh, special recognition. What we are asking is only tolerance. So, when uh, for me, uh, maybe I've grown in that way in the community where that each person I respect each person's opinion, whether you're against or for. Mm. That's up to, uh, to for you now to understand what's the um, narrative of. Uh, homosexuality or what is narrative of the whole meta is this. So we mustn't get very personally when people are, are, are viewing their opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the other thing of course was the, that people fi found this or find this judgment to be awkward. People thinking that um, on what laws, for example, did the court rely on to come to that conclusion and why would you say okay same-sex marriages are not permitted in Namibia there's no law allowing them but if you marry outside we will recognize uh, your marriage here uh, I saw the Namibia economic freedom fighters yesterday issuing a statement saying that uh, the court has imported foreign laws to impose them here while our own laws do not actually allow that. Uh, what is the feeling within your community as far as this uh, question is concerned? Uh, I, even myself I was surprised to see the, the NEF issue such a statement. They always think that they are in court are independent. I don't know, it's only independent when it applied to them but that's not independent when it's applied to other part. Mm. So I don't see any influence from any quarter that influenced this judgment. This, um, uh, mind you, the, the, the bench, there were five judges, and the only one judge was not in agreement, so but majority rules. This judgment was 
uh, 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 judged on majority rules of the judges that agree on the mm. argument. Each part was given a, 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 a time to argue the judgment. This is not a foreign law. So if <laughs> sometimes I, I, I wonder why people always refer to that our laws are for or which law that we did, we don't have we have here that's not coming from outside. So this is an absolute law that we're there like sodomy law. We have so many laws that are here that people are getting rid of because mm. they are not apply. Same now that w we got this judgment and then uh, people are concerned about that the, the rule this judgment was imported. I hear some of it because there was a first lady from an uh, American first lady uh, just where the judgment was passed. <laughs> but uh, uh, she's not even visited the uh, judicial. Mm. How could she do uh, be somebody oh, because the min, uh, Minister of Justice and uh, well, all type of um, um, leaders, uh, leaders of uh, political leaders and religious leaders, they are always giving their own opinion, but we do respect their opinion, but they must respect the judgment. It's not biased judgment, it's a fair judgment, it's a... Because we started from higher court. Mm -hmm. People started from the higher court. When they were... The, 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 the government want that case in, at, at the higher court, and then people we proceeded, people proceeded until to the... Um, Supreme law. They were uh, celebrating. Now that we want the case, it's unfair. But it was fair when uh, at the High Court. But the Supreme Court is not is not fair. Yeah, I hear you. Yes. The. So, I mean, what will happen now? Um, because this judgment seemed to ratify, and sort of, you know. Are we going? To, is it going to open? floodgates are we going to see um more people coming out uh, because i i suppose some people are afraid of coming out because of course there's one element of the cultural beliefs beliefs that you cannot be seen to be that but i think there are also who, those who simply are scared that they're doing an illegal thing that if the law had uh, allowed or permitted them to be to live their lives um, that they will come out of course the law doesn't penalize anyone for being gay but the fact that you can't marry uh, the same sex person and whatnot maybe a few people feel a bit uncomfortable are we now going to see more gay people coming out is, is, is the country going to become a, a gay country now what is this now <laughs> Is South Africa a gay country? <laughs> for God's sake, there's no such a thing. We we'll see a lot of people. Obviously, we maybe we may see a lot of people getting married, young people, yeah. because they are married. They're going to be recognized. Yeah. Because everyone' dream is to get married, mm. not only to uh, um, be in the relationship for the rest of your life, you, or dating. So, but you want to get married. Yeah. What people have to understand is that in our country, the law does not prohibit a person to be in the same sex relationship. Mm. That is the most important. And then we're not going to, pros uh, to be prosecuted because you are homosexual or you are a lesbian. There's no such a law. So our law protects us as, uh, as everybody mm. uh, is equal before the law. So now when you talk about this big judgment, it's a big document. And it's very quite interesting how the judges they highlighted the whole scenarios and all other things. Um, quite important. Some of I learned a lot even from this judgment because mm -hmm. it talk about the articles, the dignity of each individual must be respected. Mm -hmm. The most important is the dignity of a person, um, and then you must respect the uh, um, a next person because of the uh, he's a human being just like you we both have the same blood and then th it will not really bring an impact to um uh, job creation mm. or to or to decrease the employment so this is just a normal practice like we see when uh, a certain political party won do we see any uh, setback or life continue as, as usual. Mm. So this judgment does not uh, stop the life of, or does not promote homosexuality. I hear you. Yes, it, it, it brings uh, um, peace of mind 
to those that are in the homosexuality relationship that they intend to get married. Mm -hmm. So their uh, dignity, their family must be uh, recognized. So that's the most important. Like we have seen that how the, the, the children, they were, they were still not uh, recognized. Yeah. But now th since the order was given, those kids are going to be Namibian, equal children like the rest of the ch children. So um, we still have a long way to go to that so that we, now we want now to people to get married here. Mm. So we still have many, many um, uh, marathon cases going on, going to still going on to make sure that we got married here. We don't want people to get married outside of the country, but we want people to get married here, like uh, the rest of the Namibians. I hear you. Mm -hmm. um, I in closing, I want you to touch on something, which is um, there has been some reports in the papers, Namibian Sun, which I, I manage, um, also reported on it, and that is uh, the, there's this case in the north of a boy that uh, talks about having been uh, in, a, in a sexual relationship with a, with a, a male pastor from Amsat region. Um, but without discussing them pa in, in particular, the, the, the underlying allegation is that uh, the young man was promised a job by this man and uh, he feels used. That's why he came out. Um, as someone in that space yourself, um, do people get into this kind of sexual arrangements because of their desperation? They want jobs and, and, and opportunities? Or is it because they are simply gay? Or, what, or is it a both, uh, both scenarios apply? Um, this particular case, I think most of the people misunderstood when people are told, okay, um, he's dating a gay person and then he was bought a car or he was given an iPhone and yeah, so on. Because we hear a lot of that. People yes. saying, yeah, people sleep, sleeping with other men for, for yes. material uh, Yeah, uh, I, I think in that scenario, most of the advice of senior citizen, especially on gay citizen, uh, elder citizens, mm. they are think they are being uh, targeted or being venerable into for that matter. For this young no men that uh, they think that if they know a certain um, elder gay person, they want to get involved because of uh, what kind of job he does and all that things. So they become vulnerable to uh, extend that they start blackmailing as elder or advice age mm. uh, elders gay men. So and that is not a good thing. And um, I think most of the this young one, they are desperate yeah uh, for a job or for whatever they want to look good like they want to impress others mm. in whether in school or wherever but that is not the way how you go about to start blackmailing a person that you have sexual in uh, in conduct with so speak to the person and it's really pain me and very hurtful that the two gentlemen uh, um, the, the the men of god and the, the young men that they have to come out in public in that manner. Um, we don't condone molestation, we don't condone um, child um, trafficking whatsoever or pedophilia. We mm -hmm. don't condone that as you know, even as individuals, as a gay activist, mm -hmm. we don't condone that. So um, I think if both parts were in the uh, sexual relationship, must not end in that manner where other part feel that he'll feel maybe left out or the other part want to leave the relationship and then you say you cannot leave me i will do this a b c d mm -hmm. i think that it ends in image of an individual so we need to be um respectful when we ending the relationship mm -hmm. uh whether it's no heterosexual or uh or no homosexual part because we have seen for heterosexual it end in killing yeah. So now, now I think the one for this type of homosexual, it ends in exposing. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when you weigh both sides, is ending very uh, harshly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the, and then and then not that is not how things must be done. Yeah. So people must understand each other and understand each other. And um, uh, um, I think the y young men really need uh, counseling to for that matter, just to get his life together. Yeah. So, because 
yeah both together with the elder i think they also need counseling so that they can i hope uh, um, it, the the case come to an end and yeah. then they find a solution in the um, and then something jeremiah he is a gay rights activist uh, former mr gay namibia reacting to the judgment of the supreme court this week that says any same-sex uh, people who get married abroad may now be recognized here locally. Thank you for watching.